The Legend of Ancient Vietnam Thousands of years ago, during the reign of King Kin Duong Vuong, the Xing Qi Kingdom was an unknown stretch of a vast land on the Far East. Leaning against a range of high mountains while looking out, facing the oceans from a long shoreline. He married Princess Long Nu, the daughter of Dong Ding Vuong, sovereign of the Dong Din Lake. They were then blessed with one child, a boy whom they called Sung Lam, popularly known in the kingdom as Lak Long Quan, the Dragon Lord of Lak. Because of Long Nu's origin, their son was believed to be a descendant from the line of the dragons. And indeed, Lak Long Quan had extraordinary strength and supreme intelligence. But his succession from his mother's underwater world developed in him a strong fascination for the ocean. And the young man is often seen along the shorelines, enjoying the waves and familiarizing himself with the multitude of shore and sea creatures he met in his time there. Soon, he succeeded his father's throne and governed the Lac Viet tribe. Meanwhile, another kingdom rules the highlands in the north. Their king, Di Lei, has a beautiful daughter named U Ko. Wanting to unite his northern tribe with Lac Long Quan's kingdom, he agreed to give his daughter's hand for marriage with the young man. And a lavish feast was prepared as Princess U Ko was wed with Lak Long Quan. The two kingdoms celebrated their unity. Time went by. U Ko gave birth to a pouch filled with 100 eggs, which soon hatched into 100 beautiful children. The children grew up strong and smart like their father, and as kind-hearted and skillful like their mother. They were taught well how to cultivate their land and live nobly. But soon after, the couple started to grow unhappy. Lak Long Quan always finds his heart longing for the coasts, while U Ko constantly yearns for the highlands of her birth. The couple decided to divide their children, of whom 50 will live with Lak Long Quan along the coast. U Ko will lead the other 50 to dwell with her in the highlands. However, they made a promise that despite the distance and separation, they must look after each other and always be there to lend a hand should one be in need. So, Lak Long Quan took 50 children to the coast and divided the areas for them to govern. He taught them the skills of fishing and the art of using tattoos to scare off sea creatures as they dove and hunt for food. He also trained them to plant and harvest rice, as well as how to cook them in bamboo tubes. Or Ko, who took 50 children to the highlands, also divided her areas for them to govern. They were taught to live in the jungles and mountains, breed animals and cultivate the soil to grow fruit trees for food. They learned to build houses raised on bamboo stilts to keep themselves safe from wild animals. The children of Lak Long Quan and Or Ko are believed to be the ancestors of Vietnam. Today, Vietnamese people call themselves the children of the dragon and the fairy referring to Lak Long Quan's lineage from the world of the dragons and Or Ko's fairy clan from the highlands. Therefore, whichever part of the country one hails from, they belong to one origin. Just as Lak Long Quan and Or Ko promised to each other, all Vietnamese should love, honour and protect one another. This legend, then, has become the pride and bond of unity for all Vietnamese.